Hi guys, Jordan with Motion Array, and today we're gonna be showing you how to install your downloaded templates into Final Cut Pro X. So let's say for example that I've downloaded this template. And once it's downloaded, I can bring it up in the download section of my computer where it should be in the form of a zip file. So simply double click it to unzip your download. And you should be able to see all the materials that you're wanting. But what do I actually do with it from here to make it work inside of Final Cut? Let me walk you through the process. Well, we simply need to drag and drop it into the appropriate folder on our computer to make it work. It's really simple, but first, I want to keep this finder window as it is to easily have my template ready to drag and drop. So, with your finder window selected, create another window by hitting Command N. This new window should pop up, and from here, navigate here in the side of your finder window to Movies. If you don't have it here for some reason, just try going to Go, Home, Movies. Then from here, what you're looking for is a folder called Motion Templates. When you click on it to go inside, you should see the following four folders present. Effects, Generators, Titles, and Transitions. If you don't have this folder present, that's okay, but you're going to need to create it manually. And you're going to do it in the following way. Create a new folder inside of Movies by hitting Command, Shift, N. Now, name this folder Motion, Space, Templates, Dot, Localized and make sure that it's found within the Movies folder. This dot localized ending is very important for it to be actually recognized by Final Cut Pro. But keep in mind that extension will be hidden automatically so that it won't appear in the future. Now inside of this folder you just created, create four additional folders and name them effects.localized, generators.localized, titles.localized, and transitions.localized. And that dot localized ending again is essential, but it will be hidden from view in the future. Okay, so at this point in time, you should be in the same place as somebody else who had these folders present on their computer to begin with. Now is where you're actually going to take your template and place it into the appropriate folder. It might seem kind of challenging to figure out which template goes in which folder, but there's a very simple way to determine this. When you navigate past the help section of your downloaded template, you should see a file with your template name. Right click on this and select Get Info. Here you're going to see that it'll have a file type suffix at the very end. And ours for example is .moef. There's actually four different types of suffix endings which each correspond to the four different folders you're supposed to place them into. Files with .moef will go into the Effects folder. Effects are basically alterations which affect or impact the way a piece of media or a particular clip appears. This is typically visual. So for example, a VHS template would be considered an effect because it's changing and altering the overall look and feel of the media or the clip itself. Files with .motn will go into the Generators folder. Generators are typically where you would place photo video templates which require you to drag and drop your own media to an existing edited sequence. Files with .moti will go into the Titles folder, basically any text-based template. Usually the types of templates you'd install here are lower thirds or titles that you would use from the title menu. And files with .motr will go into the Transitions folder. These are basically the process of instructions that tell two pieces of media how to move from one to the other, instead of having just a straight cut. They could be pretty creative or incredibly simple. So because our template has the suffix .moef, we know to place this into the effects folder. But before we actually do, let's add one quick touch to make our lives even easier. If we create a folder first here in our effects called motion array, and then keep all of our motion array effects in this subfolder, they'll show up as a labeled folder within Final Cut Pro X. And now when we drag and drop them in, that's it. That's how simple it is to install your template. Over in Final Cut Pro, you should see it load up, but if you can't find it, simply shut down Final Cut and start it back up again to find it installed. And you can see that if we scroll down here in our Effects section, we have a labeled Motion Array folder with this effect inside. Now we're able to use this template that we downloaded to make our videos look even more amazing. If instead you install the transition, 
click this icon and it will be located here. If you installed a generator, it'll be located here. And if you installed titles, those will be located here. Now, our method of installing might seem a little bit different from any of the other methods you've seen in the past, but this method is intended to ensure that even if you have to update your software in the future, your templates will remain inside of Final Cut without having to reinstall them. We really hope that you enjoy using our Final Cut Pro templates, and we look forward to seeing all the amazing things that you'll use them to create.